Hi there, Scorpios. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl, and we're looking at February 15 through the 21st. What's happening this week is that Venus and Mercury, the planets that are personal to each and every one of us and that help us day to day, are both setting up shop in Aquarius, moving out of Capricorn into Aquarius, your fourth house of home and family. Domesticity, domestic issues, life on the home front, where they'll be for the next three weeks. The sun, however, is finishing up its tour of Aquarius and will mosey into Pisces this Friday. And Pisces is your fellow water sign and your fifth house of self-fulfillment, creativity, fun and romance. So you can expect a lot of that and more over the next couple of weeks. Now, it's a difficult transition for the sun to go from this slightly rebellious, even alien-like Aquarius, think of girl and the dragon with the dragon tattoo, that type of chick to Pisces, Pisces being ethereal, more like a mermaid, dolphin type situation, very emotional and very uh, sensitive. So you're going to have to watch that razor sharp tongue and wit of yours, Scorpios, because no one can cut like a knife like many of you. And it's important that you understand that not everyone is as hard and as uh, soldier on despite anything as you are. You and Aries, because you're ruled by Mars, the planet of war. And so you really can do battle, and you do. Pisces is ruled by Neptune, the planet of dreams and fantasy. And most of them live in a bit of la-la land and come down to Earth every now and again. There's a lot of actors born under the sign of Pisces, which kind of makes sense. So over the next couple of weeks, you've got a really good chance, for those of you who are single, of meeting someone worth meeting because the sun is going to be in that romantic spot for you. And of course, your perfect match is someone born under the sign of Pisces. Taurus, Virgo, and Cancerians are also good matches for those of you on the lookout, especially now that Valentine's Day is out of the way. Valentine's Day makes it difficult because if you do meet somebody at the beginning of the year, the first thing you're thinking is, are we going to spend Valentine's Day together? Is he going to get me anything? Is she going to give me a card? Does she expect something? Uh, it's been a huge, it's been a huge ordeal. And I can say that my neighbors, my clients, my friends, the same thing. What about Valentine's Day? Valentine's Day is over. Now we have to worry about, you know, whatever's next and whatever next holiday comes up. But until then, you can date and mate your life away and you don't have to worry about Valentine's Day for pretty much 360 days. And that's a good thing. Have a wonderful week, Scorpios. And I will speak to you again next week.